Ubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. So I'm going to read today's comment and then we're going to get a response and I don't have to keep you guys long, okay? Uh, I've been I've been contemplating the last few months to upgrade my CDL from a class B to a class A and start a new career in in the trucking industry. I have worked in transit operations for eight years and have given thought uh, of a new career in trucking, but have not yet decided if, if uh, it will be a good fit. I've come across your videos and watched many of them and uh, it keeps me interested. What are your thoughts on going from a B to an A and do you think it's worth it? Uh, when I first thought about trucking, the two companies I had in mind were Swift and Snyder. I had inquired to both and have and have neither had a response. Since then, I've had ads on social media about Wilson Logistics. I've inquired to them, and they were the only ones to reach back to me. They offer 46 cents a mile for company drivers and will help train you. Uh, sounds like a great starter company and they have nice equipment. Have you ever heard of them and what's your opinion? And this is Be Killing Back 91. And um, my opinions on, on class A and class B. Be, you know, I, I thought about getting a class B when I was going to do this, but it wasn't going to help me You know, if you want if you want some, if you want to see a freak show, just come park in a, in a truck stop parking lot. You'll see some stupid shit. Man. I mean, you, you people like to say that this industry is you know is, is, you know you got the you got to be so big and bad to be able to drive these trucks and I'm telling you that the IQ level is not very high okay you can anybody can do this shit um, but anyways I was gonna do uh, class B and uh, and um, and start uh, hot shot little hot shot business and uh and then i was going to use the hot shot business for a influx of cash for um for for heavy haul okay at least that was that was what i originally intended but then i realized uh after looking into class b the the restrictions you know what the limitations was okay so um I decided if I can do the same thing with a class A, then I may as well get a class A. And then if I wanted to do hot shotty stuff, then I could do hot shotty stuff. It doesn't matter because I, I would be, my license will cover it. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, if your intentions are not to drive a, uh, a, um, a semi truck, and uh, you know, and, and 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 you know, pull this big, these type of you know, bigger loads, heavier loads, then uh, it wouldn't be any need to get a class, a class A. But those are your intentions. You 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 need to get it. You know, that's just the way. That's the way. That's what the law is. You gotta have it. Okay. <clears throat> so I decided to get a class A, and that's. You know, but it, I needed to do that anyway to reach my goals. Um, but that's a personal question, okay? So you got to decide if it's going to be the right thing for you. And if you want to drive big rigs, you, you, you have no choice. You have to go get a Class A. And it's not going to hurt you, you know? I mean, if you go get a Class A and never drive these big trucks, it's not going to hurt you to have a Class A, okay? It only opens doors. So it can only get better, okay? Um, 
You also asked about Swift and Schneider. And uh, you know, that that would be a tough question. But eliminate one of the other, okay? Uh, what is it gonna take for you to go get a class A? Okay. Um, if you have to go to a CDL school to get that class A, will Snyder help you do that? I know that Swift will. And uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about Snyder. I don't. Okay. I know just like J.B. Hunt, they've been around for a long, 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 long time. And there's a lot of options with with them, you know, intermodal and just, I mean, everything, whatever, you know. I mean, they do everything, I believe. So you got options there. But the fact that one, neither one of those guys reached out to you very well may be where you're located. I don't believe uh, in your, no. Oh, no, you're, you're from Washington State. Maybe that's a problem. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. But uh, they may not be hiring in your area. I, I, I don't know, okay? If I know for a fact, I'm going to tell you. But a lot of reasons why you can't, you know, com trucking companies. I think it's pretty shitty that they just don't, you know, respond by saying, you know, saying that, you know, thank you for reaching out, but we don't hire out of your your area, you know, just, uh, you know, a, a regular form letter, just send that. I think uh, it's pretty chicken shit that somebody would reach out to you and you just ignore them all together, you know. Um, but. Hey, if they got a lot of inquiries, I ain't trying to make excuses for them. I mean, these both of those companies are absolutely gigantic. The wind is so high, it's what's blowing me around. So I'm rocking like that. Next to me is KB Transportation. Sioux City is where they out of. They send me email every other goddamn day. That's the that KB Transportation say they give you. Uh, I think, it's, I think it's up to $1,500 guarantee every week. And, uh, but from what I've gathered, you know, and I'm just giving my opinion, okay, on what I've seen, and, and it could be, I could be all the way wrong. But to reach those guarantees, it, it, it's almost an impossibility. And uh, for that reason, I wouldn't mess with them at all. Um, I mean that that uh, that truck. It's a uh, oh, it's a mid roof. This is a it's a uh, uh, the new body style Freightliner Cascadia. It's a you know it's a decent looking truck, uh, but it's a mid roof and it's pulling a, a reefer. And that goddamn reefer sound like a goddamn 454 with with zoomies on that motherfucker. It sound like a it sound like a, a Drax sitting next to me. Oh my god. That's a loud ass reefer. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. Um, I don't know what you know what what your model that reefer is. The number on it starts with an eleven, so maybe it's a uh, two thousand eleven. I don't know. I don't know. But that's a bitch. It's got a carrier unit on it. But that's a loud ass reefer, man. I won't be parking here all night. I'm just giving me a little a little break. And then I'm taking off. Give me a little break and yap at you guys, and then I'm leaving. But there ain't no way in hell. Actually, there's about there's almost a parking space between us, but you can't park there because the the, the pole and the uh, for the light pole, and then there's a concrete median right there. So that's basically it's a uh, lined off, so you can't park there. So there's basically a, a a truck lane between us, and I still wouldn't want to be here all night with that goddamn. Reef report. That, that, and I and I I've slept next to reefers all night and never even know that sucker when it come on and off. You know, the very vast majority of reefers you, they don't wake you up. They're not like you think that they would. You get used to them really, really, really quick. 
and they, and they don't. APUs are louder than reefers. APUs is what, that's what will get you. And APU will keep your ass up all night long, man. You be laying to bed like this. You would go out and poke a hole in the gas tank, let that smoke run out. Well, it's sucking fuel from the from the, from the truck tanks, but you know, you make you want to go shoot that something, then turn it off, whatever the hell, loud, man. But anyways, uh, uh, where you're located is going to help you uh, eliminate which company you're going to go to work for, okay? Um, and uh, uh, Wilson. Logistics, I think that's what the name of the company. I've never heard of them. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen the truck, and if I see another one, I'll probably go, oh, yeah, that thing. But I don't know anything about the company. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to uh, say what a company is or isn't if I hadn't had direct experience with them or know someone who has had direct uh, experiences with them and I trust their opinion then I speak about them but well I, what I'm saying is um, I was I would need some some good information before I speak of them and then say whether or not you should or shouldn't go that route okay that's what I mean by that but uh, at the end of the day, you know, go get your class A, man. And if, if this is what you want, um, come and get it. Come and get it, man. You know, I really hope, I really do. I hope they, uh, 2021, as far as this corona stuff, we'll start seeing the end of it. And, uh, you know, we'll start moving a lot of freight and uh and everybody stay stay booking it right but uh if if we get to a point where we have to uh shut the country down again or whatever if you got a class b and you're and you're doing transit stuff man you know i don't know how it fared for you uh in in march and april and may you know when when everything was was in a height of of uh, a shutdown but if you're driving these big trucks you know we're essential what's going to happen I mean and it's not essential to, to uh, you know ride the bus or the trains or whatever it is um, but people got to eat man and people got to have materials we are a uh, we're, we're, we're a nation of consumers I mean we got that we got to we need stuff Okay, and stuff comes to their destination in the truck. So it's uh, it it might help you uh, to stay employed, to set your goal. You know. So, thirteen minutes. I think I did real good this time. I'm gonna shut down right now. I hope I gave you some information. Uh, uh, killing back. Is that the name of it? Okay. Uh, be killing back. Ninety one. I hope I, you know, gave you some information. And uh, he said this question to me, December twenty fourth. Look at there. So, uh, I'm 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 getting better. If I, if I have not responded to you guys, please, don't think that I'm Swift or Snyder and I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm sure you live in my <laughs> you live in my area. Okay, I I do want to talk to you, but you know sometimes I miss so. Don't take that as a uh, as me discounting you or your question. Okay, so I need you to please uh, hit me back. Okay, and, and remind me to to, uh, to you know answer you. Till I see you again, deliver undistracted, and here's your boot. Yeah, boot.